Where is the pancreas? The pancreas is a deep organ. And even if you're in the laboratory and doing dissection, you can go on for quite a while and be in the viscera and people will be asking me, Gil, where's the pancreas? And I'll be like, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Why? Because the pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ. That means it's hiding behind the parietal peritoneum along with the duodenum, the first length of the small intestine proceeding from the stomach. Well, that gives us a clue where the pancreas is. It's deep and it's somewhere friends with the stomach. It can't be far from there. So I have Mr. Bones here uh, just so we can get an orientation for the drawing that I'll do. So we have our, our uh, sternum with its little xiphoid process and our our rib cage here, the costal margin, and you see the spine here, but over the spine there are soft tissues. What would they include? Well, at this point in the body, or on the 12th rib, we enter into the abdominal space, and we have the vena cava coming from the heart, an extension of the heart, and we have the, the aorta. Now, why am I telling you about the vena cava and the aorta? I'm trying to teach you about the, the pancreas. Well, the, the pancreas is very good friends with the vena cava and the aorta because it basically is doing a, doing a back bend over them very nicely. So the head of the pancreas is on one side. Or what color shall I choose for the pancreas? Let's do it in this pretty color. So here's our pancreas here, and it's surrounded by the duodenum. So the head of the pancreas is nested in the loop of the duodenum. So the beginning of the small intestine here, this is all behind the membrane, and then the head of the pancreas here, and the pancreas actually, I'm going to save my marker, I've been ruining my markers by, <laughs> by drawing one color on top of another. So here we go. Here comes the pancreas over the spine, it has its head nestled in, the, nestled in the small intestine here because it empties into it the juices of the pancreas. Pancreatic enzymes, bicarbonate, are all passed into the small intestine through the head of the pancreas for the, through the pancreatic duct. So we've got a duct that's emptying into the small intestine to provide digestive juices and bicarbonate to neutralize the acids from the stomach. So it's got to be near the stomach, and the stomach ends right here, but I'm not going to draw the stomach. But So we have a stomach here, and we have our, the first loop of the small intestine with the head of the pancreas nestled into it, and where is it headed? It's headed to the spleen. What do you mean it's headed to the spleen? Well, sure enough, the pancreas is long, and the tail of the pancreas stretches all the way over to the hilum, or the, the belly, of the spleen. So the pancreas, ah, that's about the right size for a pancreas. It's about, as I've seen them, they're about eight inches long. Now, the pancreas' shape is very varied because the splenic artery and vein run underneath it, and they're long vein and artery, and the artery is, is tortuous, like a meandering stream. And since the pancreas is soft and it's lying on this tortuous blood vessel, the pancreas can be all kind of, oh, kind of dynamically twisted as it finds its way back to nest itself in the, in the duodenal loop there. So where would this be over here? Let's see. Here's the pancreas, and the tail is headed over this way, towards this pocket in the ribs where the spleen lives. So if you were to find it on your body, just go here to the xiphoid process, which is the very tip of your sternum, down here. And then it gets soft, right? That's your belly. And you can feel your way out along your ribs a little bit to make sure you're in the right place in this little triangle here, or this V-shape, an inverted V-shape here. And your pancreas is living deep to this spot, all the way down over your spine 
where your aorta and your vena cava run. So think about that. Your aorta is the most major blood vessel in your body pulsing right under the right underneath the pancreas. And furthermore, your diaphragm, its, its legs, the crura of the diaphragm are also passing and just, just uh, underneath the pancreas. So every breath, there's a tugging of the crura of the diaphragm. There's a multiple pulsings of the aorta, all breath and blood nurturing as, as, as massage therapists, the life of the pancreas. In addition, we have two major vessels coming off of the aorta at this point. Two great blood vessels that are feeding all your organs, the superior mesenteric artery and the celiac artery. Now, I can't really draw them underneath, but the pancreas really lays, lays up against them. It leans up against them like a like resting, its, resting itself on their pulsation as well. So we have two major vessels coming from the aorta, the aorta itself, the vena cava, the, the crus of the diaphragm, all giving constant breath and life and movement. And I'm even going to say joy and maybe even power to the pancreas, whose job is to be the sensor of everything you put in your mouth. <laughs> so all of your food generates a response in the pancreas, whether it be uh, enzymes and digestive fluids or, 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 uh, or bicarbonate it produces, or also hormones, right, that are storing fat or releasing fat in your body. All these are, are part of your digestive processes in a response to what you put in your mouth. So I think that the pancreas is a very uh, interesting organ. Uh, I've given you a little bit of information about it, but I'm really trying to anchor it in space for you so you know where it is. And when you feel, feel yourself here and you feel some openness there, you're, you're giving a little space for your pancreas to, to take the ride on the, on the beautiful roller coaster of movement that's located there. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.